And um, so thank you for being here, whether you're live or you're on the recording. And um, into class today, Near Five Stages has a focus every time. There are 52 lessons, so we're doing one lesson a week, which means by the end of the year, we have covered all 52. There are some people like Kate and Sarah and Natasha who have attended, and Gita is so regular as well, who have attended by now, I think almost, if not all the 52 classes. And what this provides you with is more embodiment of understanding your body's way and the body's way, and also just more cognitive knowledge. We hope to, it's fascination up, frustration down with regards your personal relationship with your body, which is defined as the current design and function of your body, yeah, is your body's way. And then the body's way is the ideal. It's an unachievable goal, but a great direction to be moving in. So with everything with Nia, we always wanna be moving towards the body's way. And the body's way is the ideal, the way the body was designed to move. And the more we can move in that direction, we'll have less pain, we'll be stronger, we'll be more agile. And as we go through life, we'll be able to thrive and, um, and have the pleasure of truly living in skin the way the body would like us to be experiencing the body. So the focus for today is the upper arm bone, yeah? For a whole hour, we're gonna focus on this lovely, simple bone. Yeah? And um, this month we've been focusing on upper extremities and then looking at expressive movement from heart. And I love, here we are on the last five stages lesson of this month, looking at the bone that is called the humerus. And I do think like, who was the person who chose, we're gonna call this bone the humerus. It's a bone that goes from the heart center through your shoulder girdle, which is the most shallow joint of the body. If you compare it to the ball and socket of the hips, much less encased, much more exposed upper head of the humerus bone, which means this joint is actually the most unstable joint of the entire body. However, the good news is, is stability and mobility go together. So the more stable something is, the less mobile, yeah? So round the other way, the more unstable the joint, the more mobile. So if I was the person designing a human body, it's like, let's have a, an expressive person that has a heart center with feelings and emotions. Now let's allow that human being to evolve into being able to express what is inside of them out. Well, wouldn't it be great to have, of all the joints in the body, we're gonna create the one that gives the most movement variety right here. And then we have a sense of humor. <laughs> we're gonna call this bone the humerus, which actually goes down to what we call the funny bone. But be aware that the funny bone actually isn't a separate bone. If you look at your kneecap, there is a separate bone on your knee. But on your, on your upper arm bone, you basically have a nerve called the ulnar nerve and it runs down the shaft of the humerus bone and it's the most exposed nerve of the entire body. So when you hit your funny bone, you're actually hitting the sticky out bit of your lower arm bone and it is the ulnar nerve that's running down your humerus. So that's our focus for today, looking at this fabulous long upper arm bone and exploring that. Bring your arms in this moment and play with how you can, from your shoulder, move your upper arm bone in many ways. And something you can notice is the upper arm bone has so much movement variety that we do have horizontal, vertical, and a lot of rotational movement in this joint, yeah? Like no other joint. And notice how arms and hands not being weight-bearing here right now, if sitting, you're weight bearing on your buttocks. If you're standing, you're weight bearing on your feet. But these limbs, just move your hands for a moment and notice there is no weight bearing here. Yeah? There is freedom of expression. And all of that is flowing from the heart out through this beautiful shoulder girdle and down the humerus bone. So we're going to be sensing that connection for class.
So I'm Helen Terry, been teaching this, this thing called Near Five Stages for over a decade. And I love how we all have the potential to learn something every time we're going through five stages. Me as a teacher, something I love about teaching near five stages. I learn something about the body, whether I'm reading a script, studying in advance, talking with you, yeah, we all get to learn. So, first of all, let me play with demonstrating the near five stages. We call this learning from symbol and sound, the body's way, the way the body was designed to learn movement is by you watching and listening, yeah? It's how we learn motor movement. So let me briefly show you, move Mr. Bones out the way, and you're welcome to sit or stand. You can be elbow joint. My weight helps keep your shoulders relaxed and grounded sliding downwards. My function is to respond to what the rest of your body is feeling. Though I appear to move front and back when you walk, I keep your upper body balanced by swinging slightly across your body. Please keep me healthy by letting me hang down freely so that I can receive the organic stretch of gravity's pull. When you're cold, I come to your rescue and hug the sides of your body. And when you're hot, you fan me. When you're cold, you keep me closed. When you're hot, you open me. When dancing through life, allow the ends of your upper arm bone to hold space between your shoulders and your ears. Today, think about before you get out of a chair, could you wrap your upper arm bones across the front of your body, squeezing and hugging to release upper back tension? So now, as we prepare to step out of this class experience, move from wherever you are towards standing, being in relationship with your upper arm bones. Sense and see the balance of horizontal and vertical lines. From the front, the horizontal line formed by your clavicles. From the back, the horizontal line is the bony ridge of your triangular shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades also have a vertical ridge close to your spine, and they support the movement of your upper arm bone. Play with how you can maintain relaxation as you come to standing. And once you're standing, pay attention to this sensation of vertical rest. I think of my horses at Soma Ranch, how they can sleep standing up in this moment. Can you sense the vertical rest of your upper arm bones? the beautiful weight of your upper arm bones, the exquisite mobility of your upper arm bones and how your heart is able to express, you are able to express from the inner deepest feelings of you through the mobile shoulder joint, down through these beautiful upper arm bones. They are what allow you to express your feelings. They are allow you to swing as you walk, yeah. And they're really integrating your core with your upper extremities. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so now open your eyes, play with a little bit more swing, swing. Yeah, that forwards and back, but notice there is this very subtle cross lateral shift. And um, thank you so much for playing with me today. We're right at 9.45. Um, I'm happy to give a couple of minutes here if any of you would like to share, if, if anything spoke to you today. Sometimes I say there's so much power, sometimes in silence, you're always welcome to click off and be with yourself and journal. Um, and sometimes there's some power of being able to share. This is what I love about is being Zoom and being on live, that we also can, we can all learn from each other. So thank you for the heart, Sarah. Um, 
I think you've done this lesson before, but I hope that you can sense there's this thing of every time we return to the lesson, there's like a different layer. We might be like, did I really do this before? Like, oh, now I remember. Yeah. So how did it land for you, Sarah? I never feel um, bored with repetition, with revisiting a lesson. I feel like every lesson is different. I'm a different person. I experience it differently. And I hear like different parts resonate differently and more deeply than, than the last. And so um, I've been very emotional. And so this whole month has been quite um, a journey with the upper body and the extremities from the heart to the clavicle, the humerus, lower arm bones and into the hands. And so I have appreciated this practice and the awareness um, and it, the fascination with the, how that shoulder joint is really comes through a lot for me in this. Yeah. And I also liked the vertical horizontal with the clavicle and mm -hmm. the um, humerus. Yeah, me too. About up today. That, that, that's one of the near white belt concepts that we call x-ray anatomy and sensing part of the motor learning and also anatomy of the body is where movement and anatomy come together the, of these lines of horizontal, vertical, and rotational. And I particularly like how this bone, I think, really is a, a great um, location within the architecture of the body to have that sense of hanging from a horizontal in relationship with a major vertical part here, yeah, and then how much choice there is. So, yeah. Thank you. Sharon, I've loved you being with us so much this month. I think you're the most regular attendee. Um, so thank you for being with us. And, and people watching the recording, I know how life can be. And also some people have unstable internet. So I know like sometimes you're doing your best and I love how you can be part of our conversation in recording. And I always like to, when we can, is just recognize you. You've shown up a lot, Sharon. I know you were going through a life um, transition this month and you specifically chose to be with us for that. I'm curious, how's your month been and how are you feeling? Thanks, um, Helen. I was saying to Paul that July was, like, when I first joined, was like entering a room and just meeting. And But this month has been more deep. And I could really feel it yesterday with Natasha, with the, I said to Paul, the camaraderie, the just the support in this group is amazing. You, I have not, I don't often experience that in life and it is beautiful. Um, and just that you can, you, can, you can sense an emotion, even though we're online, the excitement, the nervousness yesterday, it really all stood out for me. Um, what I found particularly interesting, we talk about transition is that last week I did the uh, creeping and did, it took a huge amount of effort to creep forward and I didn't want to. My legs felt heavy and um, yet this week I didn't, but in moving my legs in the same place, I slowly moved forward with so much ease. I had to move my arms forward. That was amazing that one can move forward with ease and not to push and pull mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. And yeah. it can be exhausting that, so thank you. <laughs> And your message was okay. beautiful that you shared now from your sub box. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. you. You really tapped into some really beautiful things there for us to remember. One is about natural time of, of giving ourselves time when we don't push and sometimes to go a little slower or do something different is, is what can launch us into healing and also better conditioning and such a reminder there. Um, and also how every day is different. And the more regular I have a near five stages practice, the more regular I show up to these weekly five stages classes, the more I can notice those differences. Like from you doing the class last week and coming now, you have like a scientist compare and contrast. You've got your data that's still current with you from last week. And so you can see the connecting the dots and, and celebrate the improvements of, of that. And um, yes, I'm so glad that you found benefit with it. And thank you for sharing that so so beautifully. Thanks, Helen, and thanks to everyone else as well. 
Oh, yeah, and I love, I could see, I, w I was like on the edge of tears as you sensed how you sensed our community and mm -hmm. the feelings and how you haven't felt that on Zoom. And, and I had a sense that Natasha was like right there with me in that moment that we are just so grateful for this community. We, as teachers, we're just here, we love to share, we love to help people. And it's really mostly why we're here. It's part of our, you know, the, our group mission. And, uh, but then to just naturally, organically hear you share in such a genuine, authentic, but also like an emotional way. It's like, thank you so much. I, I like how you see us and you recognize us. And that, that's, that's like gold, yeah, Natasha? <laughs> Yeah, and also this uh, gold and bold is like what Natasha did yesterday in class was, it was a huge step for any teacher to do something they haven't ever done before and very vulnerable to be doing it, you know, with in front of many people and, and it's this area of unknown and with the unknown can come fear. Um, but how wonderful that Natasha did that and, and then now you're giving, she's realizing, oh, from me being bold and showing that vulnerability yesterday, the, that is helping us as, as a teacher better that she was there than I think the way Natasha was yesterday was perfect and and perfect delivery if Natasha had got all the clicks and had shown that she totally had it together the experience would not have been as amazing and magical and as healing as it truly was yesterday and um, so we have I'm so glad we have that recorded and everyone can experience that yeah Mom, was there something you wanted to share? Yes, I'd like to keep it brief because I know you don't have much time, but I think people on the group know that I had a hip surgery in June and then I had gynae surgery last month. So the two things have been quite difficult to get myself moving. And I thought I was doing quite well. And I have to let the group know that earlier this week, Helen said to me, have you been able to get down on the floor and get up again? And I said, oh, oh, I haven't tried that. So I tried it and I could get down and I could get up. So I said to Helen, OK, I'm going to try five stages tomorrow. <laughs> and, and since that, I don't know, is it Tuesday, Wednesday? I don't know. I've done five Wednesday. stages every morning and I did it today as well. And it's amazing how much that's helped the hip movement. I, I clearly can't do the um, stage, stage four. That's very difficult yeah. on the hip. But um, thank you for prodding me, which you do as a daughter and say, come on, mum, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been lovely. So I've, I've noticed the difference. And uh, thank you. And, uh, oh, thanks, <laughs> mum. And, and good job, you know, like in, in this, you've, you've had so much going on. Um, but sometimes it's like, like with near five stages, we just need a little prompt. In, in five stages, we actually call it interference. Yeah. In some ways, I interfered with my mum's organic way of, continuing to heal and she has strong desires of wanting to get out there and hike she wants to travel and come and see me yeah so she has these these goals that she has and then i'm like i think my mom's ready let's ask this and it says a little interference yeah and that's what near five stages does is safe risks nudging to you to explore ways that you're not currently moving and and then look at that next day doing five stages of practice next day coming to class you did the whole class um and uh, what a gift. So good job, mum. Thank you. A, a gentle little nag. It was very gratefully received. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Gita or Natasha, anything else you want to share either about class or this month? Okay, thank you, Gita. It's lovely. Natasha, how are you feeling? I'm great. Um, there's so much I could share, but I'm going to keep it super short. And I just want to say, Brenda, you are so inspiring. Like seeing you in the I don't think I've ever seen you in the F5 stages. Maybe maybe I have a long time ago. And very inspiring. It warms my heart to see you here. And Sharon, thank you for your share. I feel like I needed that. I woke up this morning and a part of me was like, oh my God, did I make a fool of myself yesterday? <laughs> and then I remembered the community and I remembered everybody. And it, I, yeah, I felt so supported. And it, it, felt, it felt a little messy and it felt definitely vulnerable and I felt vulnerable um and I felt so held by the community like wow I'm just I'm just wow thank you everybody oh lovely continue day. continue the celebration and the congratulations you did really good so thank you everybody for your shares today thank you for being with us on this challenge and um 
course, I hope that you'll join us next month. And is today the 28th? I think it is. Where am I? In yeah, today's the 28th. So it's the last day. If you sign up today, um, you can bring a friend for free. And we would love to see you. So mwah, I'll see you in the next week. We can. Thank you. Bye.